Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Wolf. And I'm Christopher Hoisington, and we're here with Josh Gross at the uh, Merrillhurst University. 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 And uh, it's a beautiful campus out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and this is actually, we're standing in the, um, the Mayor Gallery right now, part of the Mayor Art Building, and this is primarily where all of the art, um, strictly, yeah, art classes are all held. And he, he was part of a show in the uh, in this gallery in the uh, entranceway here of the Mayor Art Building. And there's two artists here. There's a sculptor and there's his prints on the, on the wall here. So tell us about yourself. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, again, I'm Josh Chris. Um, I've been making art now for, um, well, professionally now after graduating uh, only about a year and a half. Um, uh, but I've been making art since I was, you know, really little and actually one of my main focuses that always got me super interested in making art was uh, I've been a skater and snowboarder since I was about like eight years old yeah. and so I'm 26 now so, okay. you know, like 18 years of that but um, and it's funny because in skating and snowboarding they always talk about like, you know, the, the lifestyle and stuff like that like it's kind of a um, lower budget lifestyle, I guess, yeah, yeah. or something like that, but the reality behind it is that it's all packed with design and it's all about, you know, like this new thing that you have to get, but like the great thing about that though is that there is so much design in it, and um, so that's one thing that got me the most interested in making art was that, um, you know, seeing skateboard and snowboard graphics and like advertisements in uh, snowboard and skateboard magazines and stuff like that. Yeah. And then another really big push for me um, was my dad is actually a uh, a uh, home theater and car stereo rep for the Northwest, okay. and so like music is really big with him. Okay. And he's actually from Seattle, and so like you know, growing up back in the '60s and '70s and stuff in Seattle was kind of a <laughs> A big thing but so when I was younger he would play classic rock records all the time yeah. and so through listening to that and the music and the feeling that that creates um, like it was just so creative like I remember the first time I heard Jimi Hendrix and yeah. like you know just hair you know everything yeah, standing yeah. up like it was just crazy and um, but especially the album covers and stuff yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, and actually one of my my first solo show which actually was here in the same gallery about a year ago now um, one of the pieces I had done, they were all skulls, but the skulls were all rendered with images inside of them. Right. And um, one of the things I did was uh, Bob Dylan had a, an album d uh, designed by Milton Glaser. Uh -huh. And it was like a black and white version. Um, there's like black and white, his face, like silhouette, and then crazy colored hair. And so I kind of mimicked that idea a little bit and ended up actually doing a mirror image of myself with my hair flowing in on it because I had this crazy kind of pompadour haircut. <laughs> so it was like concentric circles on the sides and then the like same sort of swoopy kind of uh, motion that um, the hair was the same in the Bob Dylan piece. And so... Uh, you talked earlier about your grandfather too and his design experience and how that... Was. Yeah, well I think it just kind of ran in the family really is kind of what, what, kind of what I was saying a little bit. Right. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, he was just, I mean, all impressive. Like, that's kind of one thing, though, that, and like, I feel in art, I, I don't know, I was always really interested in like the Dadaist movement and stuff, yeah, and, and yeah. movements where it was like, you know, the, the art had a lifetime. Although I do everything I make now, is it's all archival materials and stuff, so it's gonna last way longer than we are. But, um, I like the idea of getting rid of the old and starting new, uh -huh. but you still have to have bits and pieces of the old in it. And so that's kind of what I was getting at with that. It's like, I mean, he's a huge inspiration. Of, and right. so his ability to, yeah, like do, you know, classic like Spanish man of war ships at sea and like, you know, oil painting just super detailed. Like it's crazy, you know, yeah. and, and that he was never a professional artist. So when did you, did you decide you were going to be a professional artist? Um, I don't know, I always had aspirations when I was younger to start my own like, design company for skateboarding and snowboarding because I liked the idea of giving back to a community that helped raise me and like help kind of keep me out of trouble, you yeah. know, focus on like, oh, I'm going to go skate today instead of, you know, doing something I shouldn't do or something. So, were so. You, you were born and raised right around here? Yeah, actually, um, I was born in Portland, lived in Gresham for about a year, and then moved out here to West Lynn, and I actually literally lived 
just a stone's throw away from this campus. So it's nice to be. Yeah, so it worked out really well with just, I mean, my commute to campus on a bad day with heavy traffic is like five minutes. So. Great. So you, you have a degree right now. Are you yeah. working on another one? Um, I'm kind of debating on going back and getting my master's degree, but I feel like I still need to take a few years and kind of figure out really who I am and really what I want to do with my art and yeah. things. Cause I do have some opportunities now to go more into doing clothing and like design stuff and so I'm, I'm just not really sure exactly where it's going to take me and it's becoming much more like having to make an income and things like that right. and, and with my with my ideas and stuff like you know I want to do big things and yeah. so I don't want to be limited by a budget and so you know possibly going into graphic design and like more commercial stuff might be what has to happen in order to make my, you know, fine art and stuff that's more personal on the right. side. So well, let's talk about your art here. Okay, so um, this first piece, so it, going through all of them, they all have um, one like unifying symbol of the triangle or the the Greek letter delta, so um, which in math and science means change. So the idea behind that is that change, and then they also all have this crystal-like structure um, somewhere in the piece, and um, so about um, changing our structure and changing who we are, and all of these pieces, um, the entire show was actually created in two weeks from start to finish, and so it was about you know being fast and being in it, um, really feeling the art and being passionate about it, you know, just um, really utilizing a lot of design and things, and um, and just playing with color as much as possible, really. And yeah, also, let's, let's move along here. Just yeah, um, check them out. There's uh, quite a few. Here. Yeah, there's 11 pieces in all in this show. Um, so I really, really, really had to crank them out. Um, it, but in all of the the pieces, the only faces that you're gonna see are gonna be either me or my girlfriend, or muse, I would like to say, yeah. and, um... We have a muse in our house. <laughs> yeah, it's always important, you gotta have that. <laughs> um, but then, and also, like, with this piece, it says, you know, in bold letters, discover your nature. Yeah. And so it's it was, um, all about the idea of, you know, just being passionate about who you are, and really, yeah, just not caring, basically, you know? <laughs> have, have fun, like, that's well, the most... I think, I think, you know, the idea of of knowing yourself is is huge because yeah. we really don't know ourselves. I'm in therapy. I've been in therapy for three years trying to figure out who I am. So I think that's a that's a big statement right there. Myself. Yeah, I gotta say, making art is like the best therapy because I mean, especially trying to be a professional artist, you're in your head all day long. Yeah, and so you know it lets you. For better or for worse, kind of build on stuff, which, yeah, I mean, sometimes... Figure happens. stuff out. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. What exactly. happens to me is I get <clears throat> caught up, you know, I have to go to the job, I gotta, you know, I gotta make sure that all these things happen, and then I get so busy in art. I mean, art really needs to have its attention, and you, yeah. you really need to relax it and, and, and you know, be there with it. And if you're running every day and you only got a couple of hours, it's really hard to just Okay, now I'm doing my art. You know, it just doesn't work like that. Yeah. Well, especially speaking of, that's a perfect transition over here to this piece. Um, yeah, give zero fucks and create. So <laughs> that's basically the entire idea of this whole show is just like, have fun, you know, like, like really, that's, that's my most, like, that's my favorite thing in art is just like having fun. Um, one of my favorite artists of all time is Keith Haring, and like everyone should watch The Universe of Keith Haring. It is the greatest documentary. Isn't it, isn't it on Netflix? Is uh, it on Netflix? I, I don't think it's oh. on Netflix. You can get the DVD on Netflix, but oh. it's not streaming anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. I saw it a few years ago. Yeah, it was, it's, it's really great. But yeah, just the idea of, and that's one thing I would really love to do, and I had the chance to do a mural um, about a year ago now for oh, a yeah, creative we saw space. That. Hit the uh, hit the website so folks can go check that out. Uh, yeah, it's nxtindustries.com. They're actually a Portland-based creatives company, and they have two spaces um, here in Portland. But the one I'm speaking of is over on. Um, oh God, it's uh, 
Southeast um, MLK in Maine, right on the corner, and uh, it's a great space, and they're they're all super great people in there. But yeah, me and a buddy of mine, Brennan Wagner, did about a it's about like 40 feet long in all. It spans two walls with a you know a doorway in one part and then a pillar in another part, and so it was interesting having to you know work around those. And we actually ended up working the pillar into um, right where the building is. It's right before. It's the block before you go underneath the Hawthorne Bridge. Uh -huh. And so we just painted the building itself there and then had the Hawthorne Bridge going over it. So the pillar became a pillar of the bridge oh, itself. Nice. And so, and then that also allowed us to split up the image. So then on one side of the pillar, we had this more nature scene with Mount Hood and things in the background. And then on the other side, it was a cityscape because one of the co-founders of uh, NXT is uh, a DJ and so what it is is it, it's a cityscape where on certain sides of the buildings are speakers and then at the top of it is him in front yeah, of his yeah, yeah. turntables and stuff kind of controlling this party down below yeah. and uh, so yeah that was a really fun project yeah that was really it's fun. awesome too I, I, I saw that there's pictures online 